Hey guys, what's up? Uh, this is Liberates, um, and I'm bringing you a tutorial on some more advanced syncing, such as like shooting with the AK-47 or a machine gun or something in the Call of Duty series. So, before I start, I would like to say, um, feel free to leave any feedback in the comment section on what I'm doing right, what I'm doing wrong, and if you don't understand something, then just send it to me in a message and I will try and explain it to you better. Um, this is actually my fourth time doing this commentary, and I messed up either or or it's either been too long, so I'm gonna try and speed through this one a little bit faster. Also, um, if you would like to request a tutorial, just go ahead and leave that in the comments. I read all my comments, and um, I can make you. Uh, I'm pretty good, and like I know a lot how to do a lot of stuff in Cinema 4D, uh, Sony Vegas, and Adobe After Effects. I'm I don't know that much about Photoshop yet, but I'm I'm I know a couple stuff. Like I made my own background, but that's not that great. So, all right, I don't want to go over again. I have to redo this. So, let's start. Okay, so I already have my clip, so I'm gonna drag this into Sony Vegas. Ah, dang it. Okay, um, I'm gonna make an audio track, two audio tracks, and a video track, which I already have right here because that was from my last tutorial. Forgot to get rid of that. Okay, now I'm going to import my music, which is going to be this one. It's called the Lloyd TSB Advert, the dubstep mix. Google it on YouTube, or Google it on YouTube. Um, just type it in on YouTube and find a download on iTunes or something. It's a pretty cool song. Um, it's great for syncing. So I'm going to drag this into my bottom audio track, like that. And now I'm going to I'm gonna show you how to cut your clip and render it out real quick. So... I already have it rendered out, so I don't need to, but I'll show you how to do it. So, this is my clip right here. Right here. So, I'll play this for you real quick. It's pretty laggy. Oh, no, it's not laggy. Okay, so. Oops. Sorry. Um, as you can see, that's just um, me shooting my gun randomly and nothing. So, also, what I'm going to do real quick is uh, this is a pretty nifty thing. Um, if you uh, usually when you record with an HDPVR, you get these little weird edges on the side of your video. So what you want to do is you can just kind of crop those out by coming in like that, and then you're gonna have these weird black bars even bigger and no more noticeable on the sides right here. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on the audio or the video, and you're gonna go to switches and uncheck maintain aspect ratio. Now it'll just fill the screen and it looks pretty good. So um, now to render this out. Um, normally you would have clips on both sides, like one right here and one right here. Or no, you'd have like the clip, and then you'd have this part, which is the part you want to sync, and then you'd have the end of the clip. So what you want to do is you just want to render out the part that you're gonna slow mo and sync. So you're gonna take these yellow markers, and you're gonna drag it to the edges of the clip, like this, and you're gonna click render as, and you should. If you don't know what my render settings already, you should go back to your to my basic to t my basic syncing and rendering tutorial and check those out. But instead of just saving it how it is right now, we're gonna click render loop region only, so it just renders the yellow markers. But I already rendered it out, so after you render it out, you can pause the tutorial and then just come back. And here it is for me. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag this into Adobe After Effects into my project area and I'm just gonna exit out of that real quick and so you're gonna drag it down to the timeline and what we're gonna do is go to composition and then composition settings and you can see it's 5 16 so what you wanna do is you wanna basically multiply that by 3 that number by 3 and put that number in so for me 5 times 3 would be 15 and then 0 okay so that's good and now we're gonna click this button and just scale all the way out so we can see the whole thing like this okay and then we're gonna go layer time enable time remapping now this is very important you have to do this if you want to sync it my way so you're gonna con or control alt t if you just want to do a shortcut okay now that we have that you can see these two weird keyframe bars up here I'll get to that later um okay now we're gonna go to we're gonna click on this again to make sure it's highlighted and we're gonna go to effect revision plugins which is where twixter is and if you don't know how to get twixter just search it up on youtube it's very easy to get it's a very cool um, plugin it's kind of a necessity for syncing so we're just gonna click on it and it will automatically apply so now for my render settings um, usually in tutorials you would see them change this frame rate to whatever it is in their render settings but for my render settings I find it's best and less laggy if you just keep it on 29.970 and then I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna change the speed to 30 
and now what you see is it cuts off the clip very early because it's slow mode so that's why we made the composition longer in time and that's why we enabled time remapping what time remapping allows us to do is it basically allows us to drag it out just for this purpose so now you can let's you gotta find where it kinda stops where the guy stops shooting his gun and it just kinda freeze frames and that's actually pretty good that's perfect okay so we're just gonna keep it like that and um so yeah but normally if you have it here I'll do this just for the sake of an example okay so normally if you have it like let's say I have it 20 seconds and it's too much and it freeze frames basically what that means is we're gonna have to stretch this out so it means it kind of stops and just freezes because you dragged out the thing too long so what you're gonna do is it freezes right there you see so you're gonna go back to the last frame it moves and you're gonna drag this back in like that and um, you're gonna just and then you're gonna go to composition set or you're gonna check this number right here which is 1809 then go to composition settings and you're gonna type in that number so for me it'll be 1809 okay and now hold on let me check my time ah okay um so now I'm gonna render this out by going to add to render queue or you can just do the shortcut control shift Y which is what I'll do and I'm gonna start the render on this and it'll take a while so I'm gonna pause this tutorial so I don't go over again alright I'll see you in a bit okay guys I'm back and it's done rendering so now we're gonna open Sony Vegas and usually as I said before there's gonna be the clip right here this part and then the clip right here so once you split it you're gonna take this clip and just drag it away but I don't have any right there so I don't need to do that and then you're gonna delete this one by well first you're gonna press U which will split the audio from the video and then you're just gonna delete the video okay now we're gonna drag in our twixter which is this one and we're gonna just place that in the same position it was before now what I'm gonna do is <clears throat> I'm gonna mute these two tracks well this one's already muted and now we need to get just a solo like AK-47 beat like a shot so what I'm gonna do is you can see as you can see it kind of starts right here and then it goes and it stops around there so we're gonna split the audio right there and then we're gonna go over to where it stops which is right about there and we're gonna split it again and then we're just gonna delete the sides okay now let's preview this and see if it's good alright that sounds pretty good so now what we're gonna do is we are going to basically this is the sinking part and it's very it takes a while so I think I'm gonna hold on let me listen to the music one time yeah so this is where like the main baseline starts and that's that would be the best the best bet for um, the best syncing possible so we're just gonna start it back here and I'm gonna show you how to do the first two and then for sake of time I'm gonna stop it and do the rest of them and I'll show you it at the end alright so what you're gonna do is we're gonna find the first shot so we're gonna fast forward or we're gonna go ahead in the timeline until we see a muzzle flash so okay as you can see it starts right here so we're gonna go in about so you can see it flat starts lighting up and we're gonna go in about two frames or three frames from there like right about there when you see the p actually that doesn't make sense okay so right about there and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna split this so by pressing the S key and we're gonna line this up with one of the beats so what so this looks like one of the beats right here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna control and drag this back until it's on the beat so I'm gonna move this back a frame so I can get it right on there alright so and move that forward till it's on this marker and then we're just gonna take this part and pull it all the way actually this parts not lined up all the way is it wow I messed up crap come on buddy yes my computer is my buddy okay um so now we're gonna drag that to that and it keeps going over and it's bugging me okay now we're gonna drag this back to just come with it and then we're gonna take this and we're gonna put it right against there so what you get is okay so you get that now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the next flash which is right there and we're gonna press the S key again to split it and it looks like it, my best bet would be to put it on this beat so we're gonna pull this put the marker up to there and we're gonna drag this forward and put it right on the spike of this beat and then we're gonna take this and we're gonna press control C to copy it and then control V to paste it and then we're gonna drag the top one over to here to the very beginning or er, hold on 
and we're gonna first we have to fast forward this so by control and then stretch it to this and then what we have is you're gonna put the beat right um by the split in front of the split so what we have so far is wait okay so we want this to sound on the beat so I have to actually drag this back a little bit more so it's gonna want we're gonna want to put it right there so now it, it will be like this okay so that's pretty good I'm gonna do one more because I actually have more time than usual I want to keep this under 13 minutes my original goal is to keep it under 9 but obviously that's not gonna happen and there's no way I'm redoing this sorry but you're just not worth it just kidding I love you all just kidding that's homo just kidding okay anyways um so now right here we're gonna split it again and I'm gonna drag this out to where it goes onto this beat because this looks like the biggest beat so we want it to sound the best and um so we're gonna put the marker right there that looks good and then we're gonna stretch this to the marker and then we're gonna pull this back and put it right on the edge of it now we're gonna take this and we're gonna copy it and paste it again you know how to do that now I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna drag it right to the beginning of the beat so what we have so far is okay so that looks pretty good now I'm gonna stop this and I'll come back and show you the end result after this okay guys I'm back um be warned this is a very time consuming process and I just kinda did this one pretty fast and it's not very good but you guys should take more time on it it's um probably this took me around 20 to 30 minutes just to finish this so it is very time consuming so just be ready for that so um I'm gonna go ahead and I'll pause it again and I'll render it out and then I'll just show you guys the preview and that'll be it and then I'll just end the tutorial but um remember to just request a tutorial in the description I'm very sorry that this one went over too long um in the future I'll try to make them most of them will be shorter than this because this one was a very detailed one and I'm just taking up more time by talking so I'm gonna shut up now bye love you all mm -hmm. no homo super homo